In this video, we're going to talk about Python functions. Functions are really the basis of any program in any language. We can really think of functions as building blocks for our code. Let's take a look at a few small examples. Start our Python session. The basic definition for a function is to use the def keyword. So def and then the name of the function, we'll call this one foo. Then in parentheses, we put the parameters to the function. So in this case, I want two parameters, x and y. And then to end the definition, we use a colon. This is similar to the if and else and while statements. So in this function, I'm just going to return x plus 2 times y. Now we can, act, we can call the function just by the name and then parentheses with the arguments. So 2 and 4. And we see that we get 2 plus 4 times 2, which is 10. We can also provide default argument values to our functions. So say that we wanted y to be 2 by default, but still allow the user to, to call foo with, with two parameters. So we'll say def foo x comma y equals 2. This says that if the y parameter is not passed in, just assign 2 to y. We'll stu still do return x plus 2 times y. Now if we call foo 2, we get 2 plus 2 times 2, which is 6. But we can still call foo 2, 4, which gives us 10, just as before. Now that we've seen a few of the basics of Python functions, let's examine a few weird cases where you might not know what's going on. In this example, let's start afresh and define a new Python variable, uh, x, which we'll call 5. And then we'll create this printer function, which takes in a parameter y and prints x plus y. So far, this is all good. We call printer with 5, and out pops 10. This makes sense because x plus y is 10. What if we alternatively define printer with two variables, x and y, and then return x plus y, rather print x plus y. Now what will happen if I call uh, printer for 5? Will it print 10 just as before, because we already defined x to be 5, as we can see? Or will it be 9? Turns out it's 9. What's going on is that now that x is a variable to the function, or a parameter to the function, it uh, takes precedence for its value there. So x gets assigned 4 within the function. But now that we're outside of the function, we see that x is still 5. 